know the pressure that he's been under. We know the possibility of an injustice happening in this very court. So we came to show him our support. We're surprised that the jury took so long to come to a verdict, having heard the evidence. This case was as close as he could come to a legal lynching that we've ever seen. The, the case was built on the testimony of three lie witnesses who told lies through their teeth, not just to this court, but to the police officers who investigating this case. These police officers gave them inducements and encouragement to come into this court. But ultimately, the truth is, three heroin addicts played the Metropolitan Police Service because they were so desperate to find a scapegoat. This time round, the scapegoat's name was Nicholas Jacob. This time round, we've give, been given justice. We hope that this puts an end to this case, that it puts an end to this saga. We feel sorry for the family of these in Blakelock. They shouldn't have been drawn through this, because this case should never have happened. But equally, we feel sorry for the family of Cynthia Jarrett. They have been phoning my phone since the bird is coming. We feel sorry for these guys' families. But everyone has been made to suffer because of the incompetencies and the corruption of the Metropolitan Police Service. When you tell this story, be sure to tell there's a story of institutionalised racism and institutional corruption. And it's not just the corruption of the Metropolitan Police Service, but the corruption of the DPP and the CPS who sanctioned this, this prosecution. It was a prosecution that was never going to succeed. <laughs> I'm going to see Nicky Jacobs broke down in the dock at the point that the jury said not guilty. Some might have expected that he would have jumped up and been joyous, but the pressure of being arrested and charged with the murder of a police officer is a tremendous pressure. And the knowledge of what happened to the Tottenham Three only adds and increases to that pressure. So right now he appears to be a broken man. And this is what the state has wanted to do. It's wanted to break the community because we stood up for them. It's wanted to break the community because we reflect and remind society of their incompetence on the 6th of October. And just finally directing it again that way, I mean, how hopeful are you that this will now draw a line under things or, or is it case still open? I'm, I'm sure that the police will say that the case is still open. But this was such a, a desperate example of what they've put in front of the Crown Court that I can see no way, I can conceive of no way that they can ever arrest and charge anybody ever again. Let's remember, they've investigated this for 10 years and this is the culmination of 10 years and we've seen a jury release Nicky Jacobs in less than seven hours. I think that for the police, this really is the end of the